Hello and welcome to the second tutorial in CS 4010, the structural dynamics and uh, finite element analysis. In this tutorial, we are going to simulate a two-story building. So we use a static structural and first of all, we have to define some material. So we click on the engineering data sources and add from the Zeno material. Structural still already added. Now we click on the plus button to get the concrete. And then we start to draft the building. In this tutorial, I will take a part of a car park uh, as an example. So here is our space claim interface. And I select the plane to draw is a plane x y and i change the view to front view the same as the previous tutorial we have to change the unit to meter and the grid to 0 0.1 meter now i start to draw the car park each level will be about three meter high and the distance between columns is about 7.5 meter. This is enough for three cars. So to assign the right cross section later, I have to create three components, uh, beam X, beam Y, and beam Z, uh, which are respective to the beams along X, Y, and Z axis and I move the column to the beam Y component. And the other line to the beam X. Now I need to make several copy by using the pattern. So I select all beams and click on the button pattern. I need uh, four copies and the distance between them is about um, 7.5 meter and I select the direction I want to copy now I zoom it in I make the column active and finish the last column in the last pattern Now I finish one side and I have to copy to the other rows of columns. So for example, I take uh, about three rows of columns and the distance between the first row and the second row is about seven meter. That is enough for a carport. So you move, hold on, control, and drag it to the new positions. Lift up your control before you enter the distance. The second row will take about 5 meters. That's enough for a driveway. Now I start drawing the beam Z. So first of all I need to create a plane and I select that plane for drawing. I need to copy this beam as I did before, so I use the same way. I use pattern and I need five copies. The distance between the beams are 7.5 meter. Now I finished my first level. So I click and shift 
to select on of other beam in other component and make a pattern to copy to the second level so you can have as many copy as you want but for a quick simulation I just do only two story the distance between levels is the uh, level height as we defined before is, is 3 meter in the next step I'm going to convert all of these lines to beams because we have three types of beams so we can assign three types of cross-section area so first I select the beam X to be the active component and I select all the beams all the lines in this component and click on prepare and add the I beam cross sections I rename it to beam x so I will not be confused later for the column I use beam y and I add the rectang rectangle chip cross section and for beam z I use another I beam cross section if you want to see the real illustrations of the beams click on the display and choose solid beam when you zoom in you can discover that the beam X is horizontally Located so I need to rotate it about 90 degree. So I select beam X and make it an active component I select all of beams in this component and In the beam rotation I rotate it by 90 degree so it could be vertically located Now, in the next step, we need to edit the beam profile to have a strong enough beam. So, for the first I beam, I double all dimensions from 0 0.1 to 0 0.2. As you already know, the bigger beam, the better and the bigger moment of inertia I also increase the thickness of the beam as well from 0 0.01 meter to 0 0.02 that's about 2 centimeter For the beam Y, which is a column, I also double the size. So now it's rectangular and it's going to be square now. I also increase the thickness. In design, you have to do uh, a series of analysis to find out what is a suitable cross-section area. Not too much because if it's too big, you will waste a lot of money. And if it's not big enough, you can have some serious deformation. For the beam Z, because it has a very little span, so I leave it as it is now in the next step 
I need to draw the floor so I create a new component named planes and I use the rectangle tool to draw the floor you shouldn't draw a big rectangle you have to draw step by step the rectangle between the beams because if you draw a big one you will have only four nodes and when you share nodes so it will not be really share the deformation so this is the first floor now I don't add any plane I draw directly the second floor in space claim you can draw most of element directly in 3d view and 3d mode however it is rec recommended that you should draw on a, a predefined plane so this is the second floor now I select on up the cell element and change the thickness to about 0 0.2 that is the minimum for floor from concrete and I change the topology to share nodes so this is the car park I save it and start the modeling double click on the model last time in the last tutorial we already use the gravity as a load in this tutorial we are going to use uh, distributed load and some acceleration to check it so here is your frame and to generate mesh you click on generate to have a wide frame view uh, you can change it to the shade exterior and edge to have a much uh, more beautiful view of our car park in geometry we have to assign the material for the planes so change it to concrete it's not structural steel anymore and I update mesh just in case now I go to static structural and I add some support for a car park I use a fixed support for all of the columns and then click apply I add the gravity as I did in the last tutorial and change it to minus y direction for the distributed load I use pressure and I select on up the floor panel I have drawn before you should rotate if you cannot see some panel and select the face to select the other surface and then apply for the first time I use 400 Pascal that is about 40 kilogram per meter square and I add the total 
deformations and the stress analysis to have a look so as you can see here the deformations mostly at the middle of the span and the maximum deformation is about 5 mm so this is not a lot now I select pressure and change it to 40 pascal to see if I can reduce the deformation actually the deformation is almost the same so therefore most of deformation is caused by the gravity not by the pressure now I change the magnitude of pressure e to 4000 that means about 400 kg per meter square is about the weight of a car and you can see that the maximum deformation is about 1 cm so it's double the number we had before if you want to simulate the building you can select uh, different pressures and build up the wall you can use a fluid solid interface if you want to have some air interactions with the building in the next step I'm going to use the acceleration to shake the building a little bit so I use in the internal I select the accelerations and I change it from vector to component x, y, z to enter the component of the vector and I get 2 meters per second square and see how it deforms if I shake it a bit so if you can see from here the column is seriously uh, bended but the floor is still horizontal That is what you have learned in the structural lecture. Um, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.